the wolf and the shepherds by gotthold ephraim lessing seventeen twenty nine to seventeen eighty one this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org the rapacious wolf advanced in years formed the hypocritical resolution of endeavouring to cajole the shepherds and in the first instance repaired to him whose flock was nearest to his den shepherd said he you call me a bloodthirsty felon which i really am not no doubt when i am hungry i have recourse to your sheep for hunger is unbearable protect me from hunger feed me well and you shall have no cause to complain for i assure you that i am the most tame and tender of animals when my appetite is satisfied when your appetite is satisfied answered the shepherd but is it ever satisfied you and the miser never have enough go your way thus discarded the wolf applied to a second shepherd and accosted him shepherd you need not be told that i can kill many of your sheep in the course of a year will you allow me six sheep at once every year discard your dogs and sleep in peace six sheep replied the shepherd why that is a whole flock well as it is you rejoined the wolf i will be satisfied with five five sheep in the whole year i scarcely sacrifice more than five sheep to pan then four continued the wolf while the shepherd shook his head three two not one was the shepherd's answer i will never be so foolish as to pay tribute to an enemy against whom i can protect myself by my own vigilance three is a lucky number thought the wolf and repaired to a third shepherd i am much grieved said he that i am looked upon by your shepherds as the most cruel and remorseless of animals i will prove to you how much i am wronged give me a sheep every year and your flock shall graze in safety in yonder forest which i alone make unsafe one sheep only what a trifle can i be more moderate can i deal more disinterestedly you laugh shepherd what excites your mirth oh nothing but how old are you my good friend replied the shepherd how can my age concern you i am quite young enough to kill your finest sheep growled the wolf do not grow angry old isgrim i am sorry that you came with your proposal seven years too late your broken teeth betray you you are disinterested only in the hope of feeding more comfortably and with less danger the wolf became very surly but composed himself and sought the fourth shepherd who having just lost his faithful dog he deemed the opportunity favourable shepherd he began i have quarrelled with my brethren in the woods and shall never be reconciled to them you know how much you have to fear in that quarter but take me into your service in the place of your deceased dog and i pledge myself that they shall no longer look suspiciously on your sheep you wish replied the shepherd to protect my sheep from your brethren in the woods certainly what else can i mean that might do well enough replied the shepherd but who in that event is to protect my poor sheep against you the expedient of taking a thief into the house to protect us from the thieves out of it we men consider i understand you interrupted the wolf you are beginning to moralize good day if i were not so old muttered the wolf but alas i must yield to time and so he proceeded to the fifth shepherd do you know me shepherd asked the wolf i at least am acquainted with your equals returned the shepherd my equals that i much doubt i am a very singular wolf and worthy of your friendship and that of the other shepherds indeed in what does your singularity consist i could not murder and devour a living sheep even to save my life i feed on mutton only is not that praiseworthy allow me therefore to call now and then on your flock to inquire whether spare your civility answered the shepherd 
if i am no longer to be your enemy you must refrain from feeding on sheep dead or alive a beast who feeds on dead sheep when hungry will be tempted to regard sick ones as dead and healthy ones as ailing do not therefore count on my friendship but be gone i must now venture everything to attain my purpose thought the wolf as he repaired to the sixth shepherd shepherd how do you like my skin demanded the wolf your skin answered the shepherd let me see it is a very handsome one the dogs have but seldom assailed you well then listen shepherd i am old and cannot go on thus much longer and i will bequeath you my skin how said the shepherd have you found out the miserly trick of selling the skin on the back no no your skin would in the end cost me more than it is worth but if you are resolved to make me a present of it give it me now so saying the shepherd grasped a spear and the wolf took to flight oh the merciless crew exclaimed the wolf in extreme rage i will die as becomes their enemy before i am killed with hunger they will not have it otherwise he immediately ran back into the dwellings of the shepherds attacked and tore their children to pieces and it was with much trouble that the shepherds at length killed him we have acted indiscreetly said the wisest among them we should not have driven the old robber to the last extremity forced and late though his repentance was end of the wolf and the shepherds by gothold ephraim lessing seventeen twenty nine to seventeen eighty one